Hello, this is Michael Dixon, your instructor for Introduction to Business. Today we're going to talk about ethics. What is ethics? Take a moment and think about what the term ethics means to you. Ethics is defined as society's accepted standards of moral behavior, that is, behaviors accepted by society as right rather than wrong. In simpler terms, ethics is doing what is morally acceptable whenever nobody is watching what you are doing. I found this article on ethical behavior by Jed Ray in Ezine Articles. It says, ethics play a quiet yet large part of our lives. Ethics come into play when we work, when we play, and at any time that we are interacting with others. Ethics are a set of rules that we each live by essentially, although they are generally written rules. Ethical behavior means that you are living, working, or playing in an ethical way by the set of standards that are generally considered to be right or good. Who comes to mind whenever you hear the word ethics? Whenever I hear the word ethics, I think of this gentleman. Do you know who this gentleman is? This is Bernie Madoff. He swindled investors out of over $60 billion and is now serving a 150-year prison sentence. He is 73 years old and will never be released from prison. Barbara Walters did a prison interview with Bernie Madoff. Here's a little clip of it. Barbara sat down with Bernie Madoff for a one-on-one -on -one exclusive talk inside the federal corruption complex in North Carolina. And Barbara's with us now. It was less than two weeks ago. No cameras allowed They inside. do not allow cameras in prison, but he talked very freely and we spent two hours with him. Let me go through some of the points. Remorse. He has terrible remorse, he says. He knows that he ruined his family. During the day, he doesn't think about it. He's had therapy. He compartmentalizes, goes to the commissary, does his job, doesn't think about it. At night he says he has horrible nightmares. And then he says, I understand why clients hate me. The gravy train is over. I can live with that. The average person thinks I robbed widows and orphans. I made wealthy people wealthier. But there are many middle income families, uh, charities. Absolutely. And he talks about them. He says they're going to get the principal back or at least 60 cents on the dollar. You know, we can go sure, through all sure. of that. But let me tell you a little more about the suicide. Mm -hmm. He says that while he was in jail during the four months before uh, he was sent to prison, he did think about suicide, but he didn't have the courage. Now he says in prison, he never thinks about it. He is happier in prison. I will read this. Okay. I feel safer here than outside. I have people to talk to, no decisions to make. I know I will die in prison. I lived the last 20 years of my life in fear. Now I have no fear because I'm no longer in all control. Right. I know he also talked to you about his wife, yeah. Ruth, that they're now estranged. They are estranged. He says that after his son's suicide, after Mark's suicide, which he was distraught over, mm -hmm. and deservedly so, Ruth said to him, let me go. She used to go back and forth like 12 hours each way to see him. After that, when she said, let me go, he said, Yes, and he has not heard from her since. He said, she, Ruth doesn't hate me. She has no one. This is not fair to her. So that's the end of that relationship, which is the most painful part of it for him. Were the unethical decisions that Bernie Madoff made, were they worth losing his family and everything over? Think about that. That could be you if you're unethical. This is a sign for Enron Energy Corporation. The leaders of this corporation misled investors and through the use of accounting loopholes, special purpose entities, and poor financial reporting were able to hide billions in debt from failed deals and projects. Their chief financial officer and other executives not only misled Enron's board of directors and audit committee on high-risk accounting practices, but they also pressured their auditors, Arthur Anderson, to ignore the issues. Investors lost billions of dollars and employees lost their pension plans and everything. Needless to say, the auditing corporation, Arthur Anderson, is no longer in business. Do you know who this person is? It is none other than sports superstar Tiger Woods. His deception lies to his wife led to him losing many sponsors and his legacy being tarnished forever.
ethics. Ethics is universal. All cultures and all societies expect their political and business leaders to be ethical. Ethics is more than legality. Ethics goes beyond obeying laws to include abiding by the moral standards accepted by society. Ethics reflects people's proper relationship with one another. Legality is more limiting. It refers only to laws written to protect people from fraud, theft, and violence. Ethics begin at home. Our surroundings and our parents influence our perception of right and wrong. If our parents are unethical, there's a good chance we will be too. Ethics is within each of us. We know from our schooling, from kindergarten on up, what society expects from us. We know the difference between right and wrong. USA Today did a survey of what Americans thought the top ethical issues were. Respondents were asked to list what they thought the top five issues were. 48% said improper accounting practices. 42% stated deceptive sales or marketing practices. 42% stated conflicts of interest. 35% stated lying on reports or falsifying records. 26% stated dishonesty with customers. 19% said it was or they lacked trust in corporate America. 18% said bribes and kickbacks. 12% said unfair treatment of employees or customers. 11% states securities and or bank fraud. 10% said discrimination. And 9% said producing low quality or unsafe products. The same USA Today survey had respondents answer how unethical behavior could be prevented. 72% stated increasing penalties for offenders. 63% stated employee education programs. 51% thought publicity about those being punished. 42% thought a code of conduct would prevent unethical behavior. 36% suggested adding ethics classes to college programs. And 30% thought new laws would prevent unethical behavior. Before you engage in unethical behavior, ask yourself these three questions. Is it legal? Is it balanced? And how will it make me feel about myself? We all know that whenever we're doing something bad or something we know is not right, we have a queasy feeling inside. Ask yourself those questions. These are a couple questions I want you to think about. Think about your surroundings. Think about your family. Think about your culture. Does our culture promote ethical behavior? Does a punishment fit the crime? Is the punishment fair and just? And does the criminal justice system benefit the wealthy? What is a golden parachute? Have you ever heard that term before? A golden parachute is a clause in an executive's employment contract specifying that he or she will receive large benefits in the event that the executive's employment is terminated. These benefits can take the form of severance pay, a bonus, stock options, or a combination thereof. Golden parachutes. Hewlett Packard is known for giving the most golden parachutes. First one we'll talk about is Mark Hurd, the former CEO of Hewlett Packard. He was the CEO of Hewlett Packard from 2005 until 2010. He resigned in August 2010 for falsifying expense reports. He received a $40 million severance package. He got a new job as a co-president of Oracle. The second person that we'll talk about that received a large golden parachute is Carly Fiorina. She was a former CEO of HP. She was the CEO of Hewlett Packard from 1999 to 2005. Whenever she was the CEO, HP stock lost 50% of its price. She received a $41.4 million severance package. Was either one of them worth that? Are golden parachutes legal? Yes, they are perfectly legal. Are they ethical? That is the question. Do you think they are ethical? 
I don't think they're ethical because we reward the CEOs or the presidents of the company whenever they sign a contract. We tell them failure is an option and we will reward you for failure. What is your opinion of a golden parachute? Are they ethical? This is your written assignment for this week. Are you ethical? You submit a purchase order for 400,000 shares of stock for $10,000 on Friday after the exchange closes. The sale is not consummated. You see the chief financial officer for the company on Sunday and he told you the stock price is artificially undervalued and will go up 16 times within the next two years due to the unannounced sale of the company. Your shares of stock will be worth $160,000 if this happens and you go through with the purchase. The question is, would you go through with this purchase after the market opens on Monday? You have insider information. Why would you go ahead and go through with this purchase if you're willing to go through with it? Why would you not go through with this purchase if you're not willing to go through with it? I look forward to reading your papers and remember, ethics pays. This is Michael Dixon, your instructor for Introduction to Business.